Let's do this! here from car collectors and uh, gonna go hunting see if I can find anything so uh, wish me luck and I'll report back if I find anything see ya so I just made a stop and I actually found some stuff so yeah I got a uh, Medal of Honor front line I paid a dollar uh, no I paid two dollars for this didn't own it yet and then I picked up Onimushu Warlords for two dollars didn't own this one either um, this one definitely is the one that intrigues me more than the Medal of Honor game because you know I know what I'm getting with a Medal of Honor game this uh, this looks pretty interesting I don't know just looking at the back it kind of gives me this uh, God of War feel, feel a little bit. Not completely, but... Um, it, it looks pretty interesting. So, I look forward to trying that out. Uh, made by Capcom, that's always good. Then I picked up a few games for the PlayStation 1. And I paid 50 cents each for these. Uh, boxing. Uh... Fighting Force 2, this is a game that I have on the Dreamcast, uh, Army Men Air Attack, Medal of Honor Underground, Medal of Honor, and the final one, Command and Conquer uh, Red Alert Retaliation. So I picked up those PS1 games for 50 cents each. Pretty happy about that. I don't think I, I'm pretty sure I don't own any of them. Uh, make a few more stops and maybe I'll find something else. Certainly hope so. See ya. So I just made another stop. Um, this is actually my last stop. Uh, I made one in between these two. Didn't get anything. Um, so. Let's uh, let's get to it. Um, Croc Legend of Gobos, I believe that's how it's pronounced. It uh, it's one of those greatest hits games. It looks like a a pretty interesting game to me. Um, hopefully, eventually, I'll get the time to to play it a little bit. Um, it's one that I'm I'm pretty interested in. Then, uh, this one here, it's literally just called One. Um, I picked all these games up for $2 each, by the way. Um, I don't own any of these, so, you know, why not? Uh, this one is a little bit more gruesome. Nightmare Creatures. Um, it, it looks like it, it's earned its rated and mature uh, rating on it, just looking at the back. So, uh, that seems different. <laughs> um, you know, I didn't have a PlayStation 1 growing up. My, my uh, step-grandmother did, and on the holidays I would go down there. And I would play uh, Crash and Spyro, but that was basically all she had. So, you know, I've always been curious to play more PS1 games because it's just not something I had available to me as a kid. Uh, this one actually has me pretty intrigued. Uh, it's called 
Ninja of Darkness. Uh, it, it looks pretty sweet, honestly. Uh, it's made by the same people who made Tomb Raider. Uh, it, it just looks like a pretty cool ninja game, honestly. So, I'll add it to my list of games that I would like to get to, but probably never will. And then my final game... Um, I mean, I bought this just because of the name. Bomberman. I mean, it's a Bomberman game, you know? Um, didn't own this one. Actually, it's Bomberman Party Edition. So... I'm pretty happy with today's haul. Um, like I said, I got those PlayStation games for two bucks each. Um, I got the loose PlayStation games for 50 cents each, and then uh, paid two bucks each on the PlayStation 2 games, so fair prices. They're not uh, all-time best prices by any means, but you know, it's uh, always something I'm looking to add to my collection. If I don't have it, I can get it for a fair price, so I'm content. So, thanks for watching this uh, this episode of Car Collectors, and um, hopefully you'll tune in for our next video. Thanks a lot. Uh, leave any comments, suggestions, all that good stuff down below in the comment section, and uh, have a great day. See you later.